What's up, Stat Family? Told you we was coming back with another. We got Clyde Drexler versus Alice English, 1988. Real classic. This is a live reaction. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that sub button, and comment below. Let get it. Y'all know I'll be ready. I don't want to do no fake. I promise you, I'll be ready to watch. It's live with no faking going on. None of it. Shout out to the real legends once again. Let me say this again. Let y'all know we ain't playing. We ain't done with the six. We ain't done with the seven. We ain't done with the eight. We ain't done with the nine. I promise you. It's legendary. Shout out to the real legends once again. Shout out to the Lord. We best to see another. Let's get it started. That's the ball in the air. Kevin Durant you know? will jump with Dan Shays. I'm going at Clyde the Glide. I'm going at him. He's live. Johnson rebound. This is the rebound, Kevin Duckworth. Ooh, okay, good move. Okay, Drex. Ooh, what a pass. That's the kind of play you want right there with some penetration and defense comes Steve and is averaging less than eight shots a game from the field. For whatever reason, Drex. Who? Stop playing with Drex. <laughs> Back up, Drex. Ah. Uh, Rasmussen picks up fouls very quickly, so does Shane. Ooh. Michael Adams. Ooh, what a pass. Alex Good shot. English. A little bit of English on it. The pass down in that low post. To the left. That's where you want to keep them as a team. Oh, good D. Show out down there. It's showtime. Just ready for the slam dunk contest. And Clyde is off to a fast start. Portland leading Denver by eight. Stop playing with Clyde. Man. Don't sleep on Clyde now. Promise. English. I'm playing with Drix. Ooh, what a pass. Show out. Ooh, we're flying through. We're gliding now. <laughs> that was a big glide. Oh, yeah. Drexler has four teams in the first quarter, five for Denver, only one for Portland. Alex English. That's a whole bunch of English on that. I see why. It mid range deadly from Alex English. I promise you. Ooh, what a pass. Ooh, what a pass. He down there. He here it was. And one. And the foul will be called on Duckworth. Ooh, ooh. That mid range dead. And English really warming up now. He has eight and a quarter, 14 in the game. The pass clock. Glide in there. Showtime. Drexler with authority. Drexler is really disrupting. The guy was a problem, man. Call Rojo. Has the ball knocked away by English and picked up by little Michael Adams. He young. English, mid range. Mr. Mid range is what we're going to call you. Oh, 
Oh, he made him travel. Good defense. That was hella, that was hella deep. Mm. Nice shot. Oh, good move. Ooh. Back board. The mid range. Come on, mister. Mid range. That was a good finish right there. Good take. Good pass. Decision by Danny Young. He wanted to make Alex English commit. Three point play with a made free throw, and it's now 63 51. Mm, hell of a pass. Good teamwork. Walter Davis, new Portland Trailblazer head coach. Glacier Big Game. Ooh, work down there, Clyde. Too easy down there. Hey. You definitely got to know where the ball is. In Denver, Portland leading by eight. Let's look at some of the first half highlights. Well, Drexler, who has been very active in the passing lanes, gets the Trailblazers rolling in transition with a good reaction to the ball. But Clyde has been present all night long at both ends of the floor, finding Steve Johnson down to the bucket. Penetration always breaks down a team defensively. And that's the thing you want to guard against a, a good player like Michael Adams. And you'll see they do a good job after the English. penetration. <laughs> the open man who turned out to be Alex English. English sizzled in that second period of play for the Denver Nuggets. He kept them in the game. Tough catching and a putback for Clyde Drexler but good contact, eye contact between Porter and Drexler. The Drexler jersey is a must. I promise you. Denver Nuggets and showing that need that. Too old to come up with a bad That's legendary. Throw. A two, he, he comes in with a real nice move there. Now, Calvin Nash has been hustling all over. Trailblazers, the not the Rocket. Trailblazers, and Drexler. And has a chance to really push it the other way. And you see, if nobody stops the ball, what can happen? Someone Showtime. Can get loose, and Drexler is high-flying tonight. That was a real good pass inside by Eddie Hughes, but Caldwell Jones said, you know, you're still going to have to jump higher than that, Danny Shades, to get that ball away. Good move by Calvin Knapp, but a better play by Clyde Drexler. Now, does that go down as a steal or not? Now, you think on that. It should, but they only gave him one steal in the official box. They well, didn't miss any of the shots, though. He's 10 out of 15. Walter Davis with another acrobatic effort down on the baseline as he squeezes through a couple of players. And you can understand why Doug Moore wanted him. He has the ability to get the ball in the basket, and that is crucial to the game plan that the Nuggets play. Penetration by Danny Young and a good basket by Terry Porter. Porter had a big second period as uh, he kept the Trailblazers scoring. Good pass inside the Drexler. The defense can't get there in time. And Clyde really had a big night. It's a good game going on. So opening minute of the third quarter, Steve gets the four. Good pass down there. Are we acting English? Turn around. <laughs> okay. Not playing with the real legends, though. Showtime special on the two hand reverse jam. It definitely was Showtime, man. You took the words right out my mouth, because I was damn sure about to say it. That's a hand one. Ah. Shot drips. with 27 points. The rush that the Nuggets have made here, and they're down to the six minute mark. Five with the steal. Anderson is the ball from Sailing Highway. Well, the scores bench and a foul is called on Michael Adams. Ordering Duckworth. Oh, good read. 
Snyder there at the back who gets the foul. That was a must foul. Had to get fouled. The buzzer in the score is big play by Drexler who has 31. Drexler is torching him. Ooh, and one. You got him now. He couldn't even see the shit still went in. The shot. Yeah, that mid range. That guy got a hell of a mid range. I tell you that. Pull up. Ooh. Oh my goodness. What came with the bad tonight, then? Drexler got 14 in that bag, don't he? Pull up. I see T Porter. He ain't have to blow the whistle either. He could have let that play on. Ooh, good finger roll. That would mean right now. I know that felt good. You turn around, jump. Call Will Jones. English. Whoop. You're not stopping that mid range, for real. Hey, this guy does not miss mid-range shots. The back door. Drexler got... Hey, this guy's still hitting mid-range shots, yo. Are you serious? These guys going in. Yo, are you serious? I'm talking about he hitting him from different spots too. Look at this. See, he got like 40. Another one off a pin down? That was an one ref called that. This guy right here, hell. This guy, man. Oh, my. That was deep. I felt that. He has 43, a new career high. It was a career high night. They both going at it. Man. Porter, strong drive. It take Terry Porter. Denver calls time. That was a grown man basket right there. Get to him, get to him. Get a rebound, get a rebound. Good job, Bob Denver. Denver with five seconds to play. All right, good job of surrounding Mike Lattin. They damn sure did. Davis, if they can get it in, they don't. They can't get it in, and that should be a ball game right there. Elston Turner made the card. No sin. He saw Davis. Damn, what the hell was going on? Doesn't, but they're not going to get anything done. Adam. Adam, hoist that motherfucker now. <laughs> Yeah, Adams. <laughs> Celebration on the Blazer bench. The final score: Damn. 127, Denver 124. Well, the Portland Trailblazers finally got that win. It took them five years. We don't skip nothing either. And the main reason was Clyde Drexler. And I, 
I know, Clyde, that you guys come in here and you know how difficult it is to score. What was your approach to tonight's game that was different, perhaps, than the others that you played in here? I think tonight we wanted to defend better. That was our main goal coming into the game. We wanted to cut down on their easy baskets. We wanted to take better shots on offense. And I think we did a pretty good job. You did all of that for three quarters. This is a team that keeps coming at you, keeps coming at you. Suddenly, Davis and English get hot in the fourth period and get them back in the ball game. Right when that ball game got tied, what was the thought? Well, those guys are incredible. Once they get it going, they're impossible. I don't think they missed too many shots down the stretch, one or two. And uh, our only thought was we had to score. Great shot by Terry Porter to put us ahead by two. I tell you, I think the key to the game in the, in the first half was Caldwell. He came in and just turned the game around, played the type of defense that enabled us to get easy baskets. And I think down the stretch, you'd have to go to Kevin Duckworth. Well, Kevin did a good job, but uh, you were a good job at decoy. But let's go down here to the replay and see some of that Clyde Drexler action. The obvious is what you always do well or noted for is hammering the ball over the top. But you did a good job getting the transition. Transition. Now, you look like you were ready to play tonight. Why so much so against Denver? I'm always ready to play. Some nights you look good, and uh, you look like you're ready to play from the onset. But, you know, you... Everybody's not going to be good every night, and this team is a perfect example. Some nights we can come out and really play well on the road. Some nights we can come out and really sneak up the joint. I think tonight was one of our better nights. Well, you shot the ball well from the top, made some good decisions, but were really active in the passing lanes. Uh, you know, you got your hand on a lot of balls. Uh, was there anything special for you because you went down and played forward that allowed you to roam a little bit more defensively? Well, I didn't play very much forward, just a little bit. The thing is, I was just going to the offensive boards. I knew we were going to miss some shots. And uh, just try to take advantage of, a, of the opportunities and not let them get into that running game. Well, Clyde, you know, it's a great way to get into your Christmas week. That's a good ball game. Best of luck as we go to Golden State and we'll see what happens. We're going to need it. <laughs> All right, we'll be back with a look at highlights and stats, so stay with us for more. Won't even looking at the damn goal when he dunked. Got hell, man. Historic and real legend right there. You can never go wrong watching. I don't know, but that guy, Alice English, we see why people be wearing that jersey now. I tell you that. We see why that's a legendary jersey. I promise you. That mid-range, oh my. <laughs> what? I'm talking about this guy that made 10 consecutive mid-range jumpers. With hand, hand and face. Come on, man. And he won't just shoot in one spot. He was shooting in different spots. That's when you know you were shooting. Mastered that mid range, I promise you did. You done mastered that. You went to use at that court alone, mastering that mid range by yourself. It ain't hard to tell who been doing what. I promise you it ain't. It ain't hard to tell. You tell who been playing and who ain't been playing. I promise you. And Alice Ingram, you definitely was not playing on your spare time. You was handling business. You definitely handled your business. Cause that was legendary right there. Ain't never seen nothing like it. Now we see where that mid range jumper came from. Paid away for the Richard Hamiltons. Paid away for them guys, man. Now we see where it came from. I'm talking about you coming out of that motherfucker like you about to pull up three. Legendary. <laughs> Ain't never seen nothing like it. That was that was live. That was my first Alice English. Let y'all know. We don't do no faking over here. I can't fake it. Gotta let y'all know for real. Though. That was legendary right there. I'm glad I got to see it too. Now we see why people be wearing that jersey, though. Man, it makes sense. That number two jersey in Denver is going to hit me different now. Hit me different now. Like, oh, yeah. I see bro got on bro jersey. Oh, okay. Yeah, bro. <laughs> bro cold. That's a real guy right there. That's a real legend right there. That jersey right there is proved for real. I'm talking about torching at the mid-range. With a hand in the face, shooting at different spots on the court. We weren't just shooting in one spot. Y'all seen. If you were really watching, you seen what he was doing out there. It didn't make no sense how he was controlling that game, though. And he made it look easy. A mid-range jumper is hard as hell, if you if you don't know. Mid-range jumper is a hard shot. Take concentration now. Mid-range is harder than the three. The closer the basket, the harder it is. Real hooping know what I'm talking about. If you really done done it, you know. Clyde Dress, it was showtime. You was glad. 
You was being Clyde the Glide and Drexler. You was doing what you were supposed to do out there. I'll tell you, I'll tell you something, though. That Portland Trailblazer jersey, Clyde Drexler, that's a must. That's a must. Historic. Needs that. The Al's English shit, we need that too. That's legendary, I promise you. We need both of them because that was a hell of a performance from both guys. Hell of a performance. Shout out to the team. Shout out to the players on both teams, all of them. Real legends. Everybody out there. Coaches too. Referees. Shout out to everybody out there. It's legendary, no? Hell of a game. Back and forth. That's what we came to see right there. That's what we like. Can never go wrong watching a real legend. Now. See where it came. Now. Paid the way for us. I'm going to say this again. We ain't done with the seasons. We ain't done with the seven. We ain't done with the 80. We ain't done with the 90. We don't watch too much of that 2000 shit. I promise you we don't watch too much of it. It's time to pay homage to them real legends. We already know what they're going to do in the damn 2000. 2020, we already know what the hell going on. Everybody doing Euros and shit. We already know, man. Same little Euros and shit. We know, man. We trying to see sh other shit. Get back to the basics. Back to the basics. We know everybody going to do that little same little Euro shit. Every time. Every time. Same move. It's a Euro. Come on, man. Y'all watching? Or y'all? Come on, man. We know. We got tired of that shit, man. We got tired of it. We need that shit up to y'all, man. It's legendary. Either way, we still saluted though. But we got tired of that. All they got them Euro and shit. Everybody, every game, the same shit, every game. Euro. Shout out to them real legends. It was different back then. You can tell. You can watch it. You can feel it. I ain't got to watch it. No, somebody going to do a Euro every time down the court. No. The ball going to get spread around. Team going to touch the ball. Everybody on the team. Damn, give somebody a chance. To get the ball or something. You feel me? But we ain't done with them real legends. Just know that it's legendary. Clyde, shout out to you. English, shout out to you. Thank y'all, Stat Fam, for watching the full video. We're going to be back with another video after this video. Make sure y'all stay prayed up. Y'all be safe. Y'all be good. Nope.